The Lord's Prayer by Thomas Watson is where we will again be found today as we finish this section to which we've been looking at really for some time, slowly but surely making our way through it. The heading is this, what shall we do that we may not miss this kingdom of glory? Today then we finish with number 16. If you would not fall short of the kingdom of heaven, take heed of falling off. And listen to this. Beware of apostasy. He misses the prize who does not hold in the race. He who makes shipwreck of the faith cannot come to the haven of glory. We live in the fall of the leaf. Men fall from the goodness they seem to have. Some are turned to error. Others to vice, some to drinking and dicing, and others to whoring. The very mantle of their profession is fallen off. It is a dreadful for men to fall off from hopeful beginnings. The apostate says, Tertullian seems to put God and Satan in the balance, and having weighed both their services, prefer the devil's service, and proclaim him to be the best master. In which respect he is said to put Christ to open shame. We hear that in Hebrews 6 verse 6. This is sad at last. Hebrews 10 38. If you would not miss the kingdom of glory. Take heed of apostasy. Those who fall away must needs fall short of this kingdom. Again that is a stark warning to us this afternoon. Many come or seemingly come to the faith of Christ. A little bit like the, the parable of the sowers. They last but for a while and they go off into their apostasy. How many times, O oh Christian, have we seen that? They come, they start, they're hot for God, they're at the prayer meeting, they're saying the right things and all of a sudden they're not with you anymore. And they have gone off into the sunset of sin. Take heed, dear brother and sister. Take heed that you do not fall into such apostasy. Take heed that sin doesn't grab hold of you. Take heed that the devil doesn't tempt you. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face and the things of the earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Take heed, look to Christ, turn and flee from sin, lest you fall. May the God of heaven keep you and bless you to the end. Amen.